So you might be wondering what is a PoE switch and why do you need it? Here I've got all four kinds of PoE switches we carry, beginning from a 4-port PoE switch, 8-port, 16-port, and 24-port. They all have a number of PoE ports on them, so in this case 4 here, 8 here, 16 in this block right here, and 24 in this bottom block. And on the right hand side they have two ports that are uplink ports, they're to connect to your network. On the 16 and 24 port, there is a SFP port which allows you to connect fiber optic cabling to go beyond the 328 feet limitation of running network wire. So this is to show you what a PoE switch looks like, showing you the different kinds of PoE switches we have. Now let me show you why you would use a PoE switch. So here's an example of where you would use a PoE switch. Let's say you wanted to connect a IP camera or PoE camera that you purchased from CCTV Camera World and you're trying to figure out how to get it powered and how would you even connect it to your network so you can watch it from your phone or from your PC. So the first thing is, of course, everybody has a router. So I've got my router here for demonstration purposes. Your internet connection would be going here. That's the, called the WAN ports, the wide area network that connects to the modem coming in from, let's say, your ISP. Or your ISP already has some, giving you something like this that has a cable going in there. So you've got four ports on here. They're usually yellow colored on your router from your ISP. And then you've, of course, got a power connection and it's a Wi-Fi router. So in order for you to get your laptop to, or iPad or iPhone or Android phone to talk to the PoE camera, you've got to first get the PoE camera on the network. PoE cameras are wired and you have to run a wire from them to your network. The only way to get them to power on and talk to your network, you need a PoE switch. That's what I've got here. So this is the four port PoE switch. The first four ports on this are PoE, meaning they can send PoE power and data to the device. In this case, an IP. So I've got my IP camera that I want to go mount. Okay, very simple 4K bullet PoE camera. I would go, first before I go mount anything, I would always want to test it indoors to make sure I understand how it's working. So I get a cable that I know is good, or one that I purchased from CCTV Camera World, and plug it into my camera. And then I connect it into one of the PoE ports. Once you do that, you then connect one of the uplink ports, those are the two ports on the right hand side, to your router. That's where the PoE port switch comes in. It allows you to power and send data to your PoE camera from your network. If you just want to view cameras and don't want to record them, then a PoE switch is what you need. So here I've got that. It shows you how to set everything up. Basically, this is all you need to do to get one camera connected. Of course, you want to plug in the power supply that comes for the PoE switch into the back. Now, our PoE switches offer one added benefit compared to the competition. They have what's called extended PoE transmission. So if you flip this dip switch, the number two position up, it'll let you send power up to about 250 meters, as long as you're using a good quality solid copper CAT6 cable that's UL listed. Usually those are the cables that you have to put your ends on yourself. You have to crimp them on yourself. Then that camera can be placed up to 250 meters away from that switch. Usually the limitation is about 328 feet if you're using a regular a network cable. And of course, when you're mounting your camera, make sure you practice good uh, measures on how to mount them. Enclose this pigtail inside of a junction box or use the weather grommet that comes with it so water doesn't leak in here. These gold pins inside PoE cameras, if you get them damaged, they'll stop working. Here I've given you an overview plus a lot of detail into why you would need a PoE switch and what is a PoE switch and how you would use it at your home or business. Hopefully you found this video useful. Thank you for watching this video from CCTV Camera World. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.